Let us now discuss about the site where photosynthesis takes place. You will know this is the green part of a plant. So it is green parts of plant. And generally it is leaf. And in some plants you know there is green stem or green other parts. There also photosynthesis will be occurred. It needs green part. Okay. And in case of leaf you know it is mesophyll cell where photosynthesis occurs and inside the mesophyll cell there is a large amount of this organelle chloroplast okay and this chloroplast this organelle has flattened surface suppose uh, this is the mesophyll cell okay and this chloroplasts have flattened surface and they will align along the walls of the mesophyll cell okay along the walls Chloroplasts are aligned along the walls. Suppose this is sunlight and sunlight is being incidented into the mesophyll cell. Chloroplast will align in such a way so that subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. They get the optimum amount of incident light. Remember the word optimum amount. Okay. It is not that it will not be aligned in such a way so that highest amount of light or highest amount of incident light can be absorbed. They will be aligned in such a way so that optimum means in which light intensity photosynthesis will occur the best. So suppose this incident rays intensity is very high. Then the chloroplast will be aligned parallel to the light ray. Okay, and this will be along the walls. And if the light intensity is very low, then chloroplasts will be aligned perpendicular to the sunlight. So that they can get the optimum amount of light energy from the incident sunlight. You have studied the structure of chloroplast. Okay, this is one simplified structure of chloroplast. It has two membrane. This is outer membrane. This is inner membrane. And inside this membrane, there is two structure. One is membranous, and another one is stroma, the matrix. Okay, there is one matrix. This matrix. So inside the inner membrane, we can have two structure. One is membranous, and another one is matrix. Okay, these are the membranous structures. You can find it. These disc-shaped structures are called thylakoids. Okay, single disc-shaped structures. This is one thylakoid, and column of this thylakoid. This column of this thylakoid, this is called grana. This is one grana. This is another one grana. And these granas are attached by the structure called stroma lamellae. And the liquid, the matrix on which this membranous structure is floating, is called. Stroma, and there is a clear but layered division inside the chloroplast. Okay, this membranous system, this membranous system, and what is included here? Here is grana, here is lamellae. What are this grana actually? This grana are actually stacks of thylakoids. Okay, these granas are made up of. Thylakoid. Remember, in this thylakoid, there is the chlorophyll. Pigment, which is required for trapping of light energy. So, this membranous part, it traps light energy. It forms ATP and NA. 
DPH. And this stroma part, all the enzymes which are required for photosynthesis are present in this stroma. And this stroma part catalyzes all that enzymatic reactions and it forms sugars. It forms sugars, that means glucose, which in turn forms starch. Okay, so in the stroma, there is enzymatic reactions. It performs enzymatic reactions and in membranous structure, this granal amylene, these are responsible for trapping light energy, ATP and ADPH2 synthesis. This set of reactions which occur in this membranous part, in this granal amylene, they are directly like ribbon process, okay? They are totally dependent on light. That's why this set of reactions, this set of reactions, these are called light reactions. Or it is also called photochemical reaction. Photochemical reaction. But the latter, which is occurring in this matrix, the enzymatic reactions, which will form sugars and in turn starch, these are not directly light wave driving process, but these are dependent on the products of the light reaction, the ATP and NADPH2. So to separate and distinguish these two different phases, we conventionally cause these steps, these reactions, which occurs in this matrix, dark reaction, okay? Or it is also called carbon reactions. This do not indicates, or this do not means that it occurs in darkness, or it is not dependent completely on light, okay? It is called dark reaction because it is not. Uh, totally light driving process, but it is also dependent on the products of light reaction that is ATP and NADPH. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.